In my first foxy make I used a salvage section of beach worktop to make a kitchen trolley. After cutting it down to size I had two sections left. This gave me an idea for foxy make number two. The cut off section was thick and heavy, great for the worktop but not so good for a serving tray. So I took it outside and planed it on my Titan thicknesser. Now it turns out that some of you YouTube viewers love to see wood passing through a thicknesser. You know who you are. Enjoy. This is all for you. You can see here just how much material I removed in the thicknesser. The thin strip is the original height of the worktop. When I made the kitchen trolley, I used oak doweling to make two pegs. So by cutting out a hole, the board will be able to hang on one of those hooks. So I used my calipasaurus to determine the size of the dowel, which in turn determined the size of the hole cutter I'd need to cut a hole for the dowel. I've worked with calipasauruses for a while now, but I just had no idea how very territorial they are. It's shocking. I took the board over to the drill press and cut out the hole. This is the most epic test of a dowel fitting through a hole that you'll ever see. Pay attention to this tiny jar because it may just make an appearance in Foxy Make number 3. Here though, I just needed the lid. Over to the bandsaw to remove most of the wood from the corners and then rounding them to the line on the mini bench sander. Now it's starting to look like a serving platter, or a cheese board, or a sharing platter. I don't like sharing. Let's call it a serving platter. And sanding, and sanding, and sanding, and more sanding. Finishing off hand sanding with a nice 240 grit paper. Here's my nifty little trick to get sanding right inside the cutout hole. Ah, <sighs> oiling time, the very best bit. I allowed the oil to soak in overnight, then buffed it with a lint-free cloth. Come with me so we test out the hook. There you go, sorted. And finally, some lovely cheesy shots showing the serving platter in its full glory. Oh, and by the way, all that wooden hay looking stuff. Well, those are all the offcuts from the planar thicknesser. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon for another Foxy Make.